You're watching UNICEF Television. Cases of diarrheal diseases and respiratory infections have surged in Togo ever since last year's heavy seasonal rainfall and widespread flooding. In 2010, we recorded many cases of diarrhea because of floods. Here, the water comes in mainly from boreholes. More than half the number of children under five years old that we treat suffer from diarrhea. These children develop severe watery diarrhea and recurrent vomiting. Those who are not treated properly die. In order to prevent the outbreak of future waterborne diseases, especially in times of flooding, UNICEF has supported water treatment with chlorine and sensitization activities in order to promote safe sanitation and hygiene practices. Also with support from UNICEF, hygiene promoters from the Togolese Red Cross are visiting households to train families on how to treat water with chlorine tablets and to explain basic hygiene practices, including hand washing, water boiling, and safe water storage. No. Abla Aziaduvo is a mother to five children. Her one-year-old child, Gladys, fell sick during the floods. When my child started suffering from diarrhea, I thought it was due to teeth that were coming in. It lasted 10 days, so I went to the health unit of Dijole. We stayed in the health unit for one week. After that, we went back home. After two days, health promoters came to our door and left us some chlorine tablets to prevent my children from getting acute diarrhea. Amidou Sani, chief of the hygiene and sanitation division, explains. Key to this whole process is hand washing. We know ultimately that diarrheal diseases are transmitted through ingestion, so hands are key agents of transmission. Therefore, the advice we give to mothers and parents is to pay particular attention to hand washing. Alone, it reduces risks of contamination by almost 42 percent. Hygiene promotion has also reached the local markets, where large signs on the sides of buildings promote hand washing and the renovation of sanitary facilities and creation of water points for hand washing provide crucial help in the prevention of future health issues. This is Anya Barron reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.